Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you how to create an error page or 404 page using Astro and Astra Pro. And we'll also use a little bit of Elementor just to style up our page, but uh, we won't need Elementor Pro. Let's dive straight in. To get started, I want to first show you by default, Astra shows you this error page, okay, when you install the Astra theme and uh, this is the error page that you have. But you would want it to be a little bit more customized and have uh, relevant information or uh, suggested information for people who are looking up for content on your website. And that way, I came up with this uh, 404 page. It has a header and uh, it has uh, this info right here and also frequently asked question sections. And of course, you can add a lot more other information here, maybe a search bar, posts, and a lot more. So let's get started. The first thing you should have is actually an add-on called Astra Pro. That is the Pro version of Astra. It actually extends Astra so that you can be in position to do a couple of things like the custom layouts. And when I come over here to the appearance and come here to the Astra options, you realize that I have the Astra Pro modules and I have activated the custom layouts. This option is not available if you don't have the Pro version of Astra, so you have to get one. And if you have one, well, that's good, then you can continue. Once you activate this section, you'll have this option here called settings. And once you open that option over there, then you are brought to this section over here, whereby you can create a custom layout. I have already created one called error page, but let me just create another one. So by adding another one, I'm going to call it 404 page. And uh, down here, when you scroll, there is something called custom layout settings under layout. And here I can set this to be our 404 page. Okay. And I have the option to disable the header and to disable a footer. At this page where I created, I left my header enabled and I left my footer enabled. So on our new layout, we can disable one of the two, for example, I can disable the footer, okay? And under the user roles, we can target a header based on a user role. For example, all those people who are logged in, those logged out, administrator, editor, author, all that stuff. I won't do anything under that section. Now, what we need to do is now to design up our home page. However, we can also just simply use the editor over here and rewrite our information over there. But that's not what I want. I want us to have a custom one and that's why I opt to use Elementor, the free version. So once it opens up over here, then we can simply add a couple of things. For example, we can uh, add a template from the template library or we can design everything from scratch. So for example, when you come over here to blocks, you can choose a block that you want to use and simply you are good to go. However, also Astra brings us a couple of templates that we can simply use in our design. For example, I'm going to import a block over here and I will have something like this over here. This is called features. And then I can simply import this block right into my editor. And boom, I have my block over here. So I can delete a couple of things. For example, I can delete this section over here. And then I can simply add a heading here. I can delete this subheading. I can add another heading widget to this section. And I can give it just uh, the information that this is actually an error page. So I will grab over here another heading widget. I simply place it over here. Can drag it to the area that I want it to appear. And I can simply add my 404 content and the typography, I can increase the type and also change the text color to white that is visible and boom. So I will simply use the EM uh, just to show that this is uh, a 404 page. So I'll simply use the pixel uh, measurements over here and uh, you can do a lot more other stylings, for example, the background, just like you know, uh, we, if you have Elementor, you know, you can do a lot more other things with a page builder. Okay, I can try to switch the gradient, something like that. And once you are done, you simply hit publish. And uh, let's look at our 404 page. Boom, here it's how it looks like. I'm going to first go back to our custom layouts, settings. And I am going to delete the first one because we no longer need this. I'm going to move it to the bin. 
and then I'm going to come back here to the one I just created and I'll exit to the dashboard and I am going to come over here and then I simply hit update and once I hit update of course I have to come over here I will disable the footer like I had not saved these settings earlier on so I will update again my settings and boom once now I come back here to the custom layouts you realize that we have our 404 page over there now this was the one we created earlier now this is the one that was default now i'm going to open one that we have just created or one that our visitors will see once they come to our website and they search for something that doesn't and boom here we go we have our header our 404 content here and whatever we are talking about here they can be posts they can be suggestions they can be anything what you want to show on your 404 page and boom we have no footer just like we had set it up now we can also do the same by coming back here to the customizer and we can simply say edit uh, to the editor and we can choose uh, to enable our footer to appear and we simply update if we update and come back here reload our 404 page boom our footer is now right here in a nutshell that's how you can create a 404 error page using astra and astra pro and then you can simply customize it using elementor thank you so much for watching in case you have any questions comments please let me know down in the comment box below otherwise if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and if you like the video please give it a like thank you so much for watching see you in the next one Goodbye.